Abby Johnson is a nationally known pro-life speaker and writer with an interesting story. For eight years, Abby worked at Planned Parenthood. Then one day, watching by ultrasound a fetus struggling to flee the abortionist's probe, she experienced a crisis of conscience, which led to her leaving Planned Parenthood, followed by a decision to step forward to protect life. On May 3rd, the Newman Center at the UW sponsored a talk by Abby in Kane Hall on campus. As a pro-life speaker, Abby has a unique perspective. She has facts and figures and an insider's view of the abortion industry. Unfortunately, about 100 UW students and their hangers-on came to the event to prevent Abby from getting her message out. They crowded into Kane Hall with their placards. While Abby spoke from the stage, they shouted, mocked, laughed, jeered. UW security shushed the worst offenders. This gal made her way down the aisle, spewing curses at Abby every step of the way. The event was cut short. Afterwards, something else happened. In the lobby, a small group gathered around a dignified man who turned out to be Ken Vanderhoff, past president of the National Right to Life Committee. In 1975, Ken argued before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee on behalf of an amendment to the Constitution to protect life from conception to natural death. You remember your Seuss. A person's a person no matter how small. Ken's been doing this work since the 70s. Abby is just starting. And, God willing, Abby and other individuals who respect life and who can stand up to bullies will continue for many, many years. This was not the finest hour for tolerance and free speech at our state's flagship university. Too bad, UW. Newman Center, bravo. Abby, good work.